at Victorium brothers and sisters. In today's video, I wanted to go over all of the already existing Brotherhood of Steel outfits, weapons, weapon skins, power armor paints, and non-power armor paints currently available to us in Fallout 76. I apologize to anyone that may have gotten excited when I said I was going to be making a Brotherhood of Steel video. This is not about new content planned in the Atomic Shop, at least not yet. I mean, we are kind of spoiled though. In Fallout 76, I think the Brotherhood of Steel right now is the only faction with this many items catered to representing it, and I'll be displaying them all in this video. With that being said, let's get into it. First up, we have the BOS Hood. This can be found usually at any location that spawns a random headwear piece, but if you want specifics, I found mine either at the Ranger District Office or the Appalachian Antiques location. If you played Fallout 4, this is the headpiece that Paladin Dance wears while in power armor. Next, we have the BOS Jumpsuit. In my previous video, I explained that this is a rare outfit that has a chance of being awarded to you by completing quests or dailies in the Savage Divide region. Following up is the Brotherhood Fatigues outfit. This can be found at the Thunder Mountain power plant inside of a tent. It can occasionally be found at the Appalachian Antiques on the first floor in the right corner next to a cabinet container or on the second floor on a vanity container. It is also obtainable through the repeatable quest Forbidden Knowledge. Here we have the Brotherhood Night Suit. One can be found at Thunder Mountain power plant inside the building's workroom by the power armor stations. The blueprint can be found inside a train car just east of the NAR repair yard west of Watoga Station. This planned spawn is also shared with the BOS officer suit, marine wetsuit, and marine tactical helmet. The treated resistance and protective lining blueprint plans can be purchased from VendorBot Phoenix located in the Watoga Shopping Plaza. This is the Brotherhood Lab Coat. This can occasionally be found at the Appalachian Antiques on the first floor in the right corner next to a cabinet container or on the second floor on a vanity container. Here we have the Brotherhood Officer Suit. While the suit itself cannot be found, the plan may be found inside an orange train car east of the NAR repair yard or inside Fort Defiance's fourth floor on a yellow diagnostic cart in the room with the workbenches. The plan spawns are also shared with the plans for the BOS Soldier Suit, BOS Night Suit, Marine Wet Suit, Marine Tactical Helmet, and the Marine Armor Pieces. The Brotherhood Scribe outfit can be acquired as a quest reward from the mission Defiance Has Fallen. It is also obtainable as a reward from the repeatable quest Forbidden Knowledge. Next is the Brotherhood Soldier Suit. This is basically an identical clone of the Brotherhood Knight Suit, and the location of where this can be found or where to find the plans are exactly the same as the Brotherhood Knight Suit, so I'd refer to that if you truly need to know. The Engineer's Uniform is only obtainable as a reward for turning in technical data during the repeatable quest Forbidden Knowledge. Field Scribe Uniform The hat can be found at Thunder Mountain Power Plant inside of a tent in an open footlocker. Both the hat and uniform can be obtained by joining the Brotherhood. The Bomber Jacket, as previously mentioned in the last video, is a possible reward from the repeatable quest Forbidden Knowledge. The Science Scribe's uniform, just like the Bomber Jacket, is another outfit that can be acquired by turning in technical data to the Brotherhood. Combat Armor has two mod slots, with the first slot allowing the player character to alter the armor's appearance while improving damage resistance and energy resistance. While they do change the appearance from a sheer resistance perspective, the Brotherhood of Steel variant is the most powerful, as their armor incorporates a special coating that provides additional protection from background radiation and also adds their badass insignia on the front. This Brotherhood of Steel minigun paint is awarded to you once you reach level 33 in the Battle Royale game mode Nuclear Winner. This is the Brotherhood Recon Rifle. It can only be crafted. The crafting plans are obtainable by reading a terminal that requires the military ID card. The terminal is located outside Fort Defiance on the player's right when facing the doors to enter Fort Defiance. As we all know, Fallout 76 introduced new power armors to us all. One being the Ultrasight Power Armor, which was developed by the Brotherhood of Steel. 
We also know the Ultrasight Power Armor is one of the most powerful models of Power Armor in Fallout 76. I mean, the X-01 beats it in energy and radiation resilience. <laughs> Just kidding. Resistance. So, I guess you Enclave members can have that W. Here we see that we also kind of had our first Brotherhood of Steel themed Atomic Shop item, as the Ultrasight prototype paint is riddled with BOS logos, and you really wouldn't have known unless you actually purchased the paint from the shop, so I thought that was a pretty cool touch. Here we have our second Atomic Shop item for the BOS, the Elder's Battle Coat, which can be crafted at an armor workbench after purchasing the E3 Bonus Atoms bundle in the Atomic Shop which was available until July 8th of 2019. Next up is the Brotherhood Outcast paint, labeled as Outcast paint. For those who are unaware, the Brotherhood Outcasts are a fundamentalist splinter faction of the Brotherhood of Steel's Capital Wasteland chapter in 2277. By 2287, changes in their chapter's policy and the ascension of Arthur Maxon to the position of Elder saw them return to the fold, but the Brotherhood Outcast members brandished this look on their power armor. You can receive this paint once you reach level 60 in the Battle Royale game mode Nuclear Winner. These next few Brotherhood of Steel paint jobs are only for the T60 power armor. You can only receive these as a reward by completing the repeatable quest Forbidden Knowledge, yet these plans have a small percentage chance of being dropped on completion. So far, all the paints I have are as followed. Initiate, Knight, Sergeant, Captain, Officer, Paladin, and Elder. Which I believe are all of them, but if I'm wrong, please feel free to let me know what I'm missing. And that about wraps up this video. I pretty much just wanted to show people who are interested in the Brotherhood of Steel that we kinda had it good on Fallout 76. We had a bunch of outfits, granted a lot of them were old from Fallout 4, but we even had a few new ones thrown into the mix, as well as a new power armor set, and a pretty sick paint job for combat armor that's considered one of the best mods for it. I just kinda find it funny how we already have so many cosmetic items, but we want more. It just reminds me about how the Brotherhood hoards all this technology, and yet we still seek out more technology to collect and take for ourselves. Our hunger is insatiable. Let me know in the comments down below if you have already collected all of this, or if you had no idea some of these items existed. Like always, if you found this video to be enjoyable or informative in any way, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already for more Fallout 76 content like this in the near future. And until next time guys, ad victorium.